Hi guys, it's Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around a Shore Track Landscape Pro, eight and a half by twenty. This particular unit has seven thousand pound axle upgrade, GVW at fourteen thousand. Oftentimes we do derate these to ninety nine ninety, as most of our high duty cycle commercial users don't need the added GVW, but the fourteen thousand gives them the running gear that will help keep them from having breakdowns and whatnot under uh, high duty cycle demands. So there are quite a few uh, options on this. I'll try to point those out as we walk around, but again, it's an eight and a half by 20, 14,000 pound, shown in white. So let's start out up front. First of all, this unit did just ship. Uh, basically, I gotta fix the security hasp, but that's a, um, a cone holder up front. You've also got a cooler holder. Those, of course, are both optional features. Now this particular unit we do call the Brickman spec. Uh, Brickman does order some very similar to this. Uh, we've been doing this uh, model for about seven, eight years and we've changed a little bit over time. Now, standard Landscape Pro is plus six. This is actually plus 12. And then the adjustable coupler up front here is gonna get you another roughly five inches. Uh, normal let tongue and coupler ideal for traditional dolies and regular pickups. This here would be ideal uh, for uh, stake bodies and similar. So you can pull this with just about anything, get all the maneuverability you want. So if you need to jackknife into tight spots, certainly capable of doing so. So this is a six hole adjustable coupler. Notice it does have the cast style couplers that are on our equipment style trailers. It has the reinforcement up front. It also has the 7,000 pound drop leg setback jack. You'll notice that jack does have a zert up top. It is bolted on for ease of replacement. Uh, you also notice that unlike your traditional jacks that just crank down, this one actually has an inner leg that uh, you can pull a pin. And then your, your top wind actually adjusts the outer sleeve. No need to carry around any wood blocking or similar with this style jack. Also, a fully sealed wire harness is standard with your plug holder as well. You also notice this is currently a dual prong connection plug. If you get one of them bent or whatnot and it's not making contact, you have two of them there. Also, Short Track uses a little bit heavier safety chain. Uh, there's actually a spot that it can mount in the frame. I also like to put them up on the adjustable coupler. It's a, a lot heavier duty chain. It's more of an equipment grade chain, same as what would be on an open equipment trailer. A lot heavier than most of your enclosed box trailers. Uh, standard breakaway cable, of course, required by law. Uh, normally, you'd have a regular wet cell battery. This is actually upgraded to an onboard solar with solar pulse technology. It'll desulfilate your battery. Uh, that'd be designed to keep your dome lights and that powered even without being hooked to the truck. Wiring, of course, is all grommeted, ran in frame, all sealed. Triple tube tongue is standard equipment. Now that triple tube does wrap all the way back to the header and uh, just makes that tongue uh, uh, just a lot more substantial than a traditional A-frame. A couple features that are standard on the standard Landscape Pro, three inch bottom trim as opposed to your normal one inch. Uh, this being more than a 10,000 GVW has the reflector tape all the way around. Now again, we did say some folks do derate this down to the 9,900 pound GVW. Uh, Landscape Pro Standard, you're gonna have some extra marker lights up top. They are the newer style bullet LEDs, uh, finished corners. Uh, Landscape Pro Standard is gonna have the screwless exterior or 30 aluminum that you see here. It's gonna have the one piece 080 round top cove. Uh, sometimes you'll see a sectioned uh, cove. This is all one piece and it's uh, 080, not an 030. So nice heavy duty cove. Uh, you got side vents for cross ventilation. And then one thing here that's not an option, or I'm sorry, not a standard, but it is an option, would be your onboard fuel tank. This is a 51 gallon tank. I am not an expert on fuel tanks, but if I am not mistaken, this is about the biggest that you can get without having to have a fuel hauler permit uh, in most states. It does have a manual pump and a fill tank. It is fully compartmentalized with a vented door does say not to smoke within 50 feet. Uh, aluminum wheels are standard being a 14,000 GVW. This does have eight lug to 235 80 R16 load range E 10 ply radial tire. 
Uh, that's important. This has oversized running gear because when you're running at a fraction of the rated capacity, certainly going to last longer. Uh, our goal is to try to make a landscaper be able to run all season without having downtime in season. So again, 14,000 pound of axles, tires. Normally a guy's going to run it a little over half of that rated capacity. Should get him through a rough season uh, without a lot of downtime. So there is no uh, equalizer between. That's because this is not a spring suspension trailer. It's torsion. I'll show you underneath in a bit. Uh, torsion's rubber ride. Some call it Torflex. Uh, just a very smooth ride similar to a Cadillac. Green cap there. It is a nitrogen filled tire. Nitrogen is a lot drier than your traditional air. Help keep from rotting the tire from the inside out. Uh, it is uh, the newer style forward or never adjusting brakes. Some call them FSA. Uh, very little maintenance throughout the life of the brake pad. Of course, brakes on both axles. Uh, this behind the cap there on the aluminum wheels has easy loop hubs. Uh, make it so that uh, a homeowner with uh, basic hand tools can do their own bearing maintenance. So another thing I want to point out, uh, between the axles there, there's a, uh, a riser, basically a frame lift. So this trailer is going to sit just a little bit taller than would your traditional trailers. That's designed so that uh, if you bought a mount in a driveway, you're not going to tear somebody's macadam up. Uh, that frame lift uh, could save you some headache again with uh, with a customer that you're digging up asphalt at the rear end. So a few more standard features and a few more options here at the rear. The hoop that goes all the way around the outer perimeter, that is all finished out standard also the lights are now backup lights in addition to stop turn tails standard uh, two opposing aluminum grab handles instead of plastic are standard equipment again there's handles on both sides not just the one uh, some of the other features you see at the back are options so one of the big ticket ones would be at the bottom you see the i call it the rv style toy hauler style uh, cableless spring assembly and we'll show you more on that in a minute if you look at a toy hauler i believe normally they have three this actually has six that's because this is a very heavy duty ramp door it is an aluminum door not steel which lightens it but it's built extremely rugged and it's welded uh welded aluminum it's uh, it's uh aluminum frame and then it's got uh planking over it and then it's got an anti-skid on top we'll show you more on that but it's a it's a very heavy duty door assembly even with double the hinges it's still got a little bit of weight to it uh, also not optional on this i want to point out would be the heavy duty door hasp okay that is on both sides it's an anti-theft security device you can also put them on this side door as well uh, also optional on this would be the rollers on the rear door some guys like that you can pull forward and not have to have the door totally ruined now uh, these options really need to be on there from the plant same with the half there's steel backers behind them you can do it after the fact certainly a lot more work um, UHMW wear bar the vinyl wear strip uh, that is also an option on these not standard on the landscape pros but we do put them on what we call our Brickman spec unit Let's take a look inside the trailer we'll show you a little bit more uh, you will notice uh, there is a bar lock on the side door for uh, some added security as well and then the uh, side flow through vent on the rear passenger side uh, for your cross ventilation you also notice the rear frame of the door is trimmed out in aluminum sometimes uh, sometimes that is leave left exposed steel so you'll notice that the door on this, again, is aluminum, and then it's got the anti-skid finish. Now you can actually see the extruded aluminum, if you look close there, roughly every seven inches or so. Uh, again, that's all welded in place, extruded aluminum with the anti-skid on top of it. You can actually see the steel backers I was telling you about uh, on the heavy-duty halves. So this is a cableless door entry system on an all aluminum door. There's a few different options for similar versions of this. Also, this particular unit has the upgraded two x six pressure treated plank flooring, just makes it heavier duty. 
and then also has the D-rings added on the floor. So again, the beaver tail is not standard on these. We did add it on this. Some folks want it, some folks don't. So going around the perimeter, you'll see a 12 inch kick plate. If you run your mowers or similar into it, uh, gives you some extra durability at the bottom. Also a spare tire mount. Uh, we've added to this. You can do either a steel or an aluminum. Uh, plywood walls, you'll notice this isn't a BCBC. This is actually a, a nice birch uh, plywood also has, actually this looks more like a maple, sometimes you see a birch, but uh, also the aluminum H mold uh, strips. There's no lawan between your joints. So again, nice clean look, also more durable. This would be screwed back uh, to your wall posts. In this case, I believe there'd be a piece of flat behind there to receive that and then your plywood goes into it. Around the top, you'll notice a perimeter aluminum trim, conceals your wiring, gives it a nice, complete, finished look. Lots of uh, hardware here. The only thing that's standard is gonna be your line trimmer racks. That is standard on Landscape Pro. Everything else inside here is optional equipment. Okay. So, optional, optional, optional. And then optional as well on your uh, passenger side. Up front, you have choice of either a workbench or a shelf. We like the workbench, very quality piece. Show you more on that in a second. Now, you notice the workbench is moved to the passenger side. It's because we have the fuel tank up front on the driver's side. So, again, that's all compartmentalized, gives you a little bit more workspace as well. Overhead cabinets on this are optional very simple to use okay the workbench simply pull the pin again very user friendly uh, on this one i suppose you wouldn't have gas jugs but i'm sure you have plenty of other <coughs> plenty of other equipment folds down makes a nice workbench where you can certainly use it for storage this is all steel, this is all powder coated, has a nice punch plate, very simple, even with one hand, pull the pin and go to work. Door on this is an RV style door, you can lock it from the inside or the outside. You've got your deadbolt and then from the outside you can lock the paddle lock, keys on your door. Residential style switching for your dome lights. So two dome lights are standard equipment, notice they are separately mounted. Also two roof vents standard equipment. Uh, above the roof bows there, which are tube, they're not formed. Above the bows are your uh, thermo pool. Uh, gives it a nice finished look on the ceiling. And then above that will be a one piece aluminum roof. So as we go to the back again, no spring cables. Got full clearance through the doors. So one thing that we're pretty adamant about on these that we put on all of our landscape pros would be the uh, pressure treated flooring now right now that's got pretty tight as it dries out you will get little bits of cracks that'll let air uh, come through there so you've got a kind of built-in intake on this style where it'll breathe a little bit through the floor and vent out through the ceiling powder coated fender boxes are standard and you've got your d-rims up front so this has tube in the walls and the ceiling standard and then we've also optioned a floor to tube as well 16 on center on the walls actually has 16 on center on the ceiling of these as well so again 20 foot inside you've got about four, uh, 16 foot of flat you got four foot on a slight beaver tail Unit like this is gonna weigh in at about 4,300 pounds. Gonna give you a net legal payload, even derated of 57. That does not count tongue weight. Tongue weight's another roughly 15% or roughly 1,500 pounds. It takes you up to about 7,200 pounds. Normally you're not gonna get close to 72 uh, with, with a handful of mowers, two mowers, uh, sulky or similar. So let's take a look underneath. I wanna show you some more of the features that you get when you go to the 14,000 pound GVW. 
Trek doesn't just put heavier running gear on without making other additional modifications. You'll notice the uh, the uh, piano hinge style on the RV door. Again, the bar lock. Notice these are metal handles and uh, aluminum door holdbacks as well. So sticker head underneath here. So a couple things. One front driver side corner. All the wirings, junction box, grommeted, silicone shut. On a 14,000, you'll notice the X bracing underneath. That helps keep everything nice and straight, just like their heavy equipment trailers. Uh, also, the floor studs, you'll notice, that's all boxed out. They're all tube cross members. There is no formed underneath this. This does have the 7,000 pound torsion axles. They actually act as two additional cross members as torsion is mounted to the frame. Uh, mainframe on this is a 2x6 heavy wall tube. It goes to heavy wall on this GVW. You also notice uh, underneath the door area, there's runners going across up front. Kind of hard to show you here underneath, but uh, there's extra runners going across. You'll notice that that triple tube tongue comes back. It actually uh, gets gusseted. And uh, you also notice they double up where the tongue comes back on each side and there's a gusset plate there as well. Uh, also on short track, the outriggers, not how well you can see it, but it's pretty heavily undercoated. Their outriggers are tubed. A lot in the industry on the outside of the trailer are all gonna be formed. They're gonna be much lighter weight. Short track runs tube actually on all their trailers, not just the landscape pros on these. Uh, you're putting all that wall load, any snow load, whatever you got hanging on your walls all down on that. They go a little bit heavier uh, on that. So again, there's quite a few other options that we don't have on this, but we've hit most of what our average customer is looking for on this model. You can certainly ask, most likely if you're looking for something, it's most likely available. You just might not stock it that way. We do always have a few of these going through production. So oftentimes getting what you want is, uh, is certainly doable. Something we may be able to add in house as well. Different colors are available. Uh, silver, black, charcoal, white, pewter. You can also get some custom colors or specialty colors, green, yellow, orange. Sky's the limit. You can get two-tone if you really want as well. So again, if you have any questions on this, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220. Or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.